What is up guys, back with another review and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the Hover Camera Passport. I just got this in the mail today. I ordered it a few weeks ago as soon as they launched. Uh, I've been watching this develop for a while now. Pretty much does everything autonomous so you don't need to control it like you would a regular drone like the Phantom 4 or the new Mavic. Um, but this thing is really cool. Like I am impressed already. From the unboxing, everything was nice and separated perfectly, uh, almost like a Tetris-like uh, separation of the inside of the box. Really neat. Um, this is the little carrying case that it comes in. Everything fits in there nice and perfect. Uh, it's got a nice hard shell around the outside uh, to fit the batteries and the hover cam so that if you are traveling with it, it has good protection uh, and keeps everything nice and secure. And then the carrying case also has a strap, like this little Velcro shoulder strap that you can attach to these uh, little rings here and uh, use it to throw over your shoulder if you only want to take this with you. It also comes with a little pouch and this pouch you can fit the hover camera directly inside and just throw this in your bag and you're good to go. So here is the hover camera. Nice and really small, thin, compact. It's a very durable carbon fiber chassis. It unfolds just like this and, and that's it. I mean that's it's as simple as it gets. Look how small this thing is. Really thin, folds up to about the size of an old VHS tape. Uh, here is comparison. Here is the Mavic. Uh, I actually did a review on this uh, last week, so go check it out. I'll leave a link right here. And look at the size of it. That's it. So both of these, really awesome, really small. This is where portability is going. Everyone realizes that we need this stuff on the go. The camera is pretty comparable to the iPhone 6S camera. It's a 13 megapixel camera that shoots 4K video. Uh, the thing is super light. It weighs about a half a pound. I mean, I can't even believe how light this thing is. So we have a couple sensors in this, just like the Phantom and the Mavic and the other drones do. They're just not as robust as those sensors, uh, but it has a sonar sensor on the bottom here, which basically tells it how how close it is to the ground between the ground and uh, and the air so in order to control the hover cam you'll download an app in the iOS app store or the Android app store the suggested control distance is up to 65 feet away from you all right so I got one battery fully charged and I'm gonna do a quick test for you guys all right we're connected to Wi-Fi it's loading the app as you can see here we are There it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> it just fell. But that's that's what's so cool about this is that like look at I was just messing around it hit the camera and it went flying but it didn't injure or damage anything. It's got this nice hard outer shell. This thing is really cool. All right, let's try that again. Look at that, isn't that crazy? Look at it, it just corrected itself. And it's off. You can control the camera by moving up and down on the screen. And I can also raise and lower. And I can move it back and forth, side to side. Now we're gonna try this follow me mode. So now you can see it's tracked around us. And now as we move, it should follow us. It's following, it's working. I can't get it off of Stacia. The drone likes me better. Have you guys ever juggled two drones before? <laughs> Mavic and hover cam. Okay, hopefully it'll track me.
The only thing I don't like is if you go forward against it, it starts backing up, but there's no obstacle for it, so it's just gonna hit whatever is behind it. I just got back from doing an initial test flight on the Hovercam Passport, and I gotta say, this thing's pretty cool. It's different, the concept hasn't been done yet, and uh, it's very well made, very sturdy. I did crash it a couple times into the wall, and it just hit the wall and, you know, just fixed itself and started hovering there. So, you know, this isn't made for getting quality, super amazing footage like you would with the Mavic or the DJI Phantoms or anything like that. This is just a 4K camera with a little bit of built-in stabilization, so don't expect the world out of this. But if you just want something easy, take with you on family vacations, maybe you're not really a big drone pilot and you don't want to deal with cumbersome, you know, inspires and phantoms and things like that, this is just something simple to have fun with. Flight time, that was a disappointment, but I knew that going in. Uh, it says 10 minutes of flight time per battery, we know that's never the case. My first battery got about six to seven minutes, and the second battery got about maybe seven to eight minutes. It's $5.99, you can get it at gethover.com, and you know, I think overall it's just, it's just a fun little toy to have. So that's about it, that is the Hovercam Passport. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, click the thumbs up button down below, I'd appreciate it. And I'm gonna be doing some more reviews like this coming up, the MacBook Pro with Touch Bar is gonna be here next week. So I'm excited to share that with you. Uh, but I look forward to using this in some future videos to give you guys some different angles and footage and just some cool different perspectives. Uh, so again, thanks for watching, hope you liked it. Subscribe if you're new, click that link down below and leave us a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!